Hey guys, how's it going? Kingtrix here, making more videos again. And today, I just wanted to make a video. Uh, I don't, I don't want to say a rant video, but I, because I don't like ranting, honestly. But this is the first time I felt a little bit uh, like violated by a company, uh, Apple. Actually, I, I don't get me wrong. Okay, I love Apple. I, uh, I love their products. I love iPhone. I'm using this iPhone right now to, you know, even though if you watch my other videos, anyways. But yeah, I love Apple and stuff. Um, and you know but i just felt really wrongly done with apple honestly i know that sounds really wrong but here is what happened my story uh basically i have a four-year-old macbook pro this thing is still not that old i mean it's, it's i know apple comes out with stuff like crazy all the time you know what i mean but still look I have a four-year-old MacBook Pro. I updated it. Update, okay? It's not anything. It, nothing was wrong with this thing. It was a freaking, like, amazing laptop. I love this thing. It took me everywhere. It did everything. Everything was working fine on it. I updated it. And what happens? That freaking um, Wi-Fi keeps dropping now. The Wi-Fi kept dropping. It just kept dropping, dropping, dropping. And then what I had to do, like many of you guys probably, had to close the laptop open it back up, turn it on, and then and then the Wi-Fi starts again. And after like two hours, after one hour, sometimes five minutes, it would drop again. And the thing is, it, once it drops, it didn't, even, it wouldn't even like, um, it wouldn't even like, tell, it, it wouldn't even say anything. It wouldn't say like, oh, uh, Wi-Fi is not connected or anything. It was, it, you would try to turn it on, and there would be no like signal anywhere. So, I decided, you know, okay, this is a software or something because Honestly, I never dropped my laptop or anything. It's never been broken. And right after the update, this started happening. And then I looked it up also online, and I see a lot of people online having the same issue. So I decided this is not my fault. This is, you know, Apple, and they're going to probably fix it because they probably have a quick fix or something, like an update or something. Um, so I waited probably for six months. You know, I kind of waited for updates. Uh, you know, update after update, it's still was really bad. I had to keep closing the laptop, opening the laptop, and it was just horrible. It was the most, it was the worst experience ever. And so what I did is I decided let's contact Apple Chat or whatever the hell it is, Apple Support, okay, on on Apple.com. I'm going to support, went over there into the side, and I typed in my serial number because they asked for serial number. And then they're asking me to charge, uh, asking me for 19, 20 bucks for, to help me out here. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? Like twenty dollars to help me fix my freaking laptop? Like that you guys up whenever they updated it, it was messed up. I was like, okay, whatever. You know, I'm not gonna do that. So I they they said there's another option, which is go to the store. So I said, all right, let's go to the store. Let's see what what happened in the store. Whatever. Go to the store and uh, and I had to wait probably for two hours or something because there was a ton of people at that store. I don't even know why, but yeah, I went to the store. I freaking uh, you know, like tell I I talked to the genius guy, Bart, the guy, and and I asked him, "Have you had this problem happen before?" And this guy looks at me and goes, "No, uh, no, this is the first time. This is the first time. I, don't, don't lie to me, dude. Are you freaking out of your mind?" You freaking said this is your first time having a Wi-Fi drop problem? Okay, second of all, I feel like Apple does that on purpose. Like, you know, they tell they tell you they tell the people, um, yeah, just say that you've never had this problem before so that they can feel so that the customer feels like, you know, bad, like, oh, um, okay, so I guess it hasn't happened before. That means that it's my fault. Probably I did something to my thing. It's not Apple's thing, because, you know, but don't lie to me because I've seen it all over your website. I see it like all the time. People are having connectivity issues after the update with their like older, um, older uh, devices. So I asked the guy. So, okay, whatever. You know, like okay. So can you diagnose it, whatever? And he goes, Yeah, sure. I'll freaking plug it in. He takes it to the back. Honestly, I don't know what he's doing in the back with my laptop. Takes it to the back for about thirty minutes. I'm sitting out there, nothing, doing nothing, and then comes back out and he says yeah we will need to switch out your card I'm like what's wrong with my card I never burnt it it's never broken it's not broken dude like it's right after the update so probably did the update mess it up honestly so I said okay yeah sure what, what uh, you might have to switch my card and he said yeah well 
we might have to switch to our cars. So it, it's not a, it's not you know completely set in stone that we're gonna have to switch your card yet. Um, you know, we'll we'll do some run some tests on it and stuff. So I was like, what? Okay, you're gonna run some tests. And then he gives me, he tells me, okay, the total price is gonna be sixty eight dollars for the card and thirty eight dollars for labor or something like that. So. I don't know how much I, if I said the numbers right, but the total was about one hundred and ten dollars, something like that, uh, two hundred and seven dollars, something like that. And basically, um, I say, okay, yeah, sure, uh, uh, yeah, let me let like just contact me before you switch it. And he's like, yeah, I'll contact you. Don't worry, don't worry. It probably won't be the card either. It will probably be just a software thing. I was like, oh, sweet. If it's a software thing, I don't have to pay for it. Um, I feel like this is like a tactic that Apple uses where they tell like the the customer to go home so that the customer to go home with that but but after signing everything so they told me to sign everything you know say like yeah we're not gonna charge you yet blah 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 all that crap and you know stuff like that um, and I was like okay you know that's I guess that's okay cuz uh, you know you it's a possibility that you might not be changing my card at all you know I feel like they tell you to go home so that you're not thinking about it and then they give you a call out of nowhere or actually in this case they didn't even give me a call they actually just emailed me and told me yeah um, uh, we have some important information for you call this number and so I called the number and they said yeah we're gonna change your card and I was like wow you didn't even do over like you know the email actually they said that they were gonna give me the test they're gonna do a 24-hour test like an overnight test and they gave me that email literally like 30 minutes after I left the Apple store. And I was like, oh my God, whatever. Okay, anyway, so I decided, okay, you know what? Do it. I don't care. I don't want to argue with you guys uh, because honestly, I don't know. Uh, but while I, went to, I was at the store, here's what happened. I felt like really bad uh, because I asked the guy, okay, how do I know that you guys actually changed the card and not just, you know, Get, like do some kind of software thing and have it fixed. How do you how do you know it? Can I have my old card back? No, you can't have your old card back. I was like, wait, wait a second here. I pay for my laptop. Everything in that laptop is in my is mine. Okay, it's mine. I pay for it, and you guys get to take it and keep it. Pretty much, yeah. You just uh, you're signing basically to say that. That I get to keep your uh, that I get to keep your 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 old part, and I'm just replacing it with a new part. And I'm like, dude, that's my part, and I'm paying for the new part also. Why don't I get to keep it if I want to? Anyways, and he was like, yeah, I I, I mean, I really don't know. He was like stuttering and stuff, and I was just like, yeah, look at you. You know that's wrong because seriously, like this is my old card. This is my part of the computer. And you guys are getting to keep it and just replace it. So I'm paying for a new one. But I just want to see like, if I could sell it maybe on eBay or something. You know, somebody might want it because they can be able to fix it. Or they know, they know like, because I think what the thing is, like, it just needs an uh, 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 older software. Because when you update it, that card is like an old card. So I feel like they're putting a new card in there. But still, like, it's like, can I have my card back? And he was like, no. I was just like... It's Apple policy. We don't give you the card back. You sign for it, basically, that says that we are replacing your card and we're going to get to keep your old card. I don't know what... I don't know, guys. Honestly, like, you tell me how that is. Uh, right now, I'm waiting. I actually called them and I, I told them, hey, yeah, um, whatever. Yeah, you guys can fix the card, whatever. I don't care. And just you know have it ready by today and I'm gonna pick it up today and I'll probably make an update video uh, on the next video and saying you know I how I receive my laptop and if it works and stuff um, but yeah so if you guys are having connectivity issues because you updated and stuff like that you know they're probably gonna change your card out because I think they have an updated card I even asked a guy like is this gonna be a new card he was he was stuttering he was literally like he was like oh, uh, yeah, it's gonna be no. It's not gonna be yeah. No, it's gonna be an older. It's gonna be the same old card that that came with this laptop. And I was like, okay, okay, whatever. Anyways, guys, uh, if you guys have any you know same experience with Apple like that, um, you know, leave it in the comments below. Tell me about it because you know let let people share this share this with people. You know what I mean? Let other people know 
what what experiences you have had with Apple and stuff like that because uh, this was just crazy I just I couldn't believe that they wouldn't let me have my part back and uh, and also other things um, but yeah so you know what to do guys uh, hit the subscribe button like and also comment below and tell me uh, even if you don't you know subscribe so just comment below and tell me about your experience because this is not this is gonna educate me and this is also gonna educate other people and tell me if I said something wrong because I'm not perfect guys like honestly okay but let me know if I said something wrong uh, don't be too mean <laughs> okay but yeah if I'm right also tell me yeah you're right about that blah 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 and let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time peace